But five users of an app called Seesaw got a big surprise this morning. And several local school districts have been affected by a hack of an elementary school learning platform. All day we had no idea like what was going on. That app called Seesaw says a link with an explicit image was shared via the messaging feature. That a virus caused an inappropriate photo to show up on the messages section. Did you get the picture? There's no word on how many people in the area did get the picture. The parents are concerned. Seesaw gets hacked. Find out how in just a few minutes. But before then, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be uploading new videos on a variety of different topics. So the big news in EdTech is that Seesaw was hacked. The Learning Journal, which is used by thousands of schools across the United States, first became aware that parents and teachers were getting messages containing an inappropriate link. The link they were referring to was a bit.ly shortened link that directed users to a very inappropriate photo. The general public first became aware of this issue early Wednesday as a number of different users took to Twitter and reported this incident to Seesaw. Shortly afterwards, the company responded by disabling message access, leaving subscribers without a crucial component of the platform. As a precaution, some districts even disabled Seesaw entirely. Around 11.03 a.m., Seesaw put out this message to its customers. They claimed that Seesaw was not compromised, but that some individual accounts were. The technique used is called credential stuffing, which is essentially reusing email and password combinations which can be found on the internet from other data breaches. This message, which has been distributed widely by Seesaw, claimed that an outside actor was able to access some accounts and sent the link to the image in question disguised through a bit.ly shortcode. Now, if Seesaw is correct and these accounts were compromised by recycling user passwords, it seems that preventing these incidents could be a challenge for companies like Seesaw. However, other users, such as this parent, believe the incident never would have happened with two-factor authentication. Education privacy advocate Bill Fitzgerald was a bit skeptical of the whole incident. Without access to details and specific information, he questioned whether this could have been a different type of data breach. While Seesaw investigates, they continue to have messaging disabled until the message with the link, which has since been disabled by bit.ly, is off their servers. The company also informed me that they are looking into two-factor authentication support as well. So while we don't know all the details of this incident, what we do know is that reusing passwords is a bad idea, and it makes you susceptible to things like credential stuffing. So I'd recommend using a password manager like 1Password to prevent an incident like this from taking place. You can follow all of the latest developments on Seesaw at status.seesaw.me. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.